for their resume. And we are underway here in Columbus. J.C. Sheldon, one of those players honored on senior day prior to today's game. We'll get us started up here. Got a quick whistle as the confetti is still raining down. Megan, it's a party. And it gets us started back up now. Anyways. Let's see what happens next. Cody McMahon been so excellent over her last four or five games. Maryland's going to box in one with Green McDaniel guarding J.C. Sheldon. Celeste Taylor, who had 11 points in the first matchup against Maryland, gets the first bucket here. Ohio State won that game. Maryland, though, had the lead at halftime. It was a four-point game in the final few minutes. That was in College Park. And the drive from the Aurora, Ohio native Cheyenne Sellers gets Maryland on the board. Sellers has done everything Brenda Fries has asked of her this year, whether that be at the point guard position or as a scorer. She's a flat out playmaker. Sellers with about 30 friends and family in the stands today. Maryland mixing up their defense, now just in his own. Taylor again, how about that? Taylor has been shooting the ball with so much confidence as of late. Didn't shoot the ball well in the first half against Penn State, then came out on fire. She's playing with so much confidence and rhythm right now. You were at that Penn State win for Ohio State. It was a convincing one right from the start as Bree McDaniel answers right back there. You've been really impressed with her game this year, as have we all. Not just offensively, but Bree McDaniel, as she likes to say, is a pest defensively. She says she likes to be the annoying little sister at all times on defense. It feels like their emotional pendulum kind of swings with her because she brings so much emotion to this Maryland group. Celeste Taylor's been confident early. That pass goes away through the hands of Mika Lashikova. Got two of the best head coaches in the country going head to head today with Kevin McGuff on the other side. Two teams that experienced deep postseasons and good Februarys and Marches recently. There are a couple guarantees, death, taxes, and Brenda Freeze in March. I wouldn't bet against her if I were you. Nope. Her team down one early, couple minutes in. J.C. Sheldon gets fouled. 13-game winning streak for Ohio State. Started back on January 5th. This has been an incredible run for these Buckeyes. Number two in the country for the second straight week. McMahon, a key part of this special season. Her first triple try hops off the iron, and now back come the Terps. Cashing in a triple. Able to answer back is Alexander. Gives Maryland the lead. Terps showing this three-quarter court press. Coming back into their defense. Great spacing offensively for the Terps. Theory goes up strong. Megan, I know you like to think of her as maybe one of the most underrated players in the conference. She's the definition of a glue player, but she's also so blue collar. Nothing about her game is flashing. Her and JC Shelton do a lot of this. Nice steal and the finish. These Buckeyes for so many turnovers. This is where Ohio State is so dangerous. They press, but they cut down angles in this press. They time it up perfectly with each other. This is like synchronized swimming when it comes to the Buckeyes press. They have forced 57 turnovers in the last two games, as ridiculous as that sounds. That does sound ridiculous. It does. You got to double take the note. Nice wraparound feed from Masonis. Alexander, who had that three going on in the prior possession, gets called for an offensive foul here. And Nebraska both dominant double-digit wins as their last four games have been. McMahon swirling in the lane and finishing. Speaking of dominant, Cody McMahon, she gets going downhill. Not many can guard her. Speaking of getting downhill, McDaniel tried to answer back in a hurry. Couldn't. Now the Buckeyes might have numbers here. McMahon again ran into Sellers. Sheldon on the move. Back-to-back 20-point -back games for her, and there's a blocking foul. There's J.C. Sheldon you see in the Big Ten ranks this year. In shape person on the floor at all times. She never gets tired. She's like the Energizer Bunny. But she also makes great decisions with the ball in her hands and without the ball in her hands. Defense always gets a minutes too. Can do that. Fisher weaving. A freshman. Nice board from Jakia Brown-Turner. Back out to McDaniel. Good three from the corner, and it's a two-point game. I love the passion that McDaniel plays with. She makes the right play. She gets her juice on defense, but then just makes the easy play offensively. They called that a long two, so remains a three-point game. Oh, 
Sheldon couldn't save that, so it's going back to Maryland. That's been a major area of improvement over the course of the last four wins, and something that's going to be key as you head into March. You have to create as many opportunities in possessions as possible. Board from Theory, now Ohio State looking to run here. McMahon on the pull up. Now McDaniel trying to answer the other way. And what a shot there for Bree McDaniel. It's a high level shot because her momentum's going backwards, but she's still finishing towards the rim. Intense high level shot for McDaniel. Catch and shoot three for Sheldon, rains down. In rhythm, shoulders squared, feet set. J.C. Sheldon needs no time to get that shot off. This is what Maryland tried to do well in the first matchup, and they did do it well, was break the press, get up in the hurry, but Ohio State got back well there. Oh, the strip from Sheldon nearly got the steal. Brown Turner gets it back blocked, though, at the rim by McMahon. And on top of that, she stepped out of bounds. That's been the M.O. all season long, suffocating opposing groups, especially over the course of this 13-game winning streak, 14-1 and one in Big Ten play. That lone blemish was a nine-point loss against Michigan. But have been on a tear since then. J.C. Sheldon looking for a second three there. Couldn't quite get it to go down. This Maryland group has won four games in a row, their best streak in Big Ten play. Last win came over Rutgers. Bree McDaniel had plenty of time to get her feet set there. Celeste Taylor, the board, launches it up to Sheldon. Behind the back, kicks it out. Mikolashikova, that's her spot. She loves the top of the key three. A four-point game, Sellers, Ohio native. Both teams trying to find this first bucket out of the last break. A nice pump fake from Taylor, then dropped it down low. One pass too many there, Megan? This is just trying to save and extend plays. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Maryland is using their size well, especially down low. Another good defensive possession here for Maryland. Taylor, just a tough shot. Sometimes you need that from a veteran player. She got it to go there, what a shot. Celeste Taylor spoke recently to the, the talent that this Ohio State team sees in practice alone each day, and just what they train up against to get ready for big games like this. Nice shot from Fisher there. The freshman we'll flipped the spectrum of experience over, and she gets the bucket to go to stem the tide there. Now without Lavender Briggs, they need Emily Fisher to step up. The Terps do in order to gain, you know, a couple of points off the bench, whatever that might look like. But she just has to step up and do the little things, not do too much. She's in the front court right now with Kubek. That pass out of the reach there of Parks. And that was a tough angle for Celeste Taylor as well. Kubek ran into a thicket of defenders, had it stripped by Harris. She's one of the best at that. Then the other way, Bree McDaniel got back. One of the most competitive players you'll find around the country. Wanted to get that possession back, and she did. I love Bree McDaniel's game. She's so passionate and fiery. It is a joy to watch her play. Taylor able to reverse fortunes there. Another turnover. Fisher went down in the paint. They went cross court to Harris, and she gets a shooter's roll. On your home rims, you got to have that type of roll, right? This is where the Buckeyes are knocking down three, spreading the floor well. Maryland's in this zone. The best way to bust a zone is spreading the floor, getting the gaps, and hitting threes. And on this end, Megan, she takes a charge. She had 21 points in their last win over Rutgers. Also so key in the passing of that Maryland offense. This Maryland defense is totally clogging it up the paint. What an effort there for McMahon to track it down, but Alexander able to corral it. McMahon trying to get back into the play. Had to go through two rows to do that. 
Maryland trying to strike while she's not there, couldn't. And then there's a foul call. Nice job from Kubik to get her own offensive rebound there. Kevin McGuff very frustrated with that sequence. Shot clock off here for Maryland. Would be big if they could get a bucket going into the second quarter. McDaniel ran into traffic. Never really got a clean look up. Still four seconds for Taylor to get up the floor. She has had an excellent first quarter. That shot at the end of it will not go, but it's an eight point lead at the end of one. Transition defense, always a key for Kevin McGuff. And he's right, Maryland trying really hard to get into high percentage areas. Ohio State has to make sure they're sending someone back at all times. Second time that Alexander's hit a three from that same spot. And it was a big one to start this second quarter. Pulls her team back within five. J.C. Sheldon getting a breather. Madison Green at that point guard spot, zero and white. Kicks it to the corner. Harris, second time. She's hit from that spot. Ohio State's moving the ball well in the zone. They're moving it quickly, and they're spreading the floor well. Lee propels right back up to eight. And then the steal. Celeste Taylor, one of the best defenders in the country, turns a steal into two with a 10-point lead. A steal like that from Celeste Taylor is all about timing. She reads the passing lanes and shoots the gap so well. Oh, and she's got some good speed on her, too. A grad student and transfer from Duke. Off to an excellent start. Same side, same result there for Alexander. Her third three. Megan, where would they be without her right now? Uh, at this point, that three in the corner is like a layup for Brene Alexander. Yeah. She's constantly ready right there, shot ready, but also in the eye line side of her teammate. She's been a sharpshooter all season long. Those three triples she's hit, up to 162 attempts on the season now. McMahon couldn't finish. Alexander the rebound. Now Jakia Brown-Turner, she's been so good really since late January. Alexander, heat check. Well, sure. Did that on a Duke team that was one of the best in the country overall defensively. Has brought that over to Ohio State. Here's a steal for Maryland. Alexander trying to capitalize in transition. It's a better job by Ohio State getting back in transition defense. Nice cut there from Taylor Theory, and she draws a foul. At Big10plus.com. We got Kubek on the call. Maryland went man-to-man -man that possession as well. So already, halfway through this first half, Maryland has shown multiple defenses trying to junk it up a little bit and keep Ohio State out of a rhythm offensively. On this end for Maryland, they've hit the three so far outside of that, what needs to happen. They need to get to the basket, which is what they were doing earlier, trying to get into the rim, high percentage areas, but get to the foul line as well. They have not spent much time at the strike. That's been more of the bread and butter. You haven't really thought of them as a three-point shooting team this season overall. J.C. Sheldon speaking of getting to the bucket. Was given up a few inches of height there. Did not matter whatsoever. That's where Sheldon used angles to her advantage. That's where the IQ piece comes to play. Green nearly had a steal at the other end. She does get the tie up. Who's willing to get up, sacrifice their body, and make a hustle play? All of a sudden, there's so many white jerseys around you when you play this team. Green. There's to go back to Maryland. Their team down 11. You mentioned not just the scoring of 15 points per game, but five assists a game as well. McDaniel in transition, couldn't get the roll. Ball does spray out to Alexander, and now Masonis, the veteran guard, can settle things down here. Nice spin move, but Mika Lashikova did well to get back. After coming out on the hedge there, McMahon getting set to check back in along with Taylor.
how about the Big Ten tournament is sold out this year awesome. in Minneapolis? How awesome is that? Every session. The Buckeyes, if they get a win today, and Celeste Taylor is trying to push them to get that, they would lock up the number one seed in that Big Ten tournament. It's taken Celeste T Taylor a little bit of time to adjust to her new role on Ohio State's team, but she has started to come into her own in February. I love the confidence she's shooting the ball with. Saw her 13 points there with still 5.40 to go in the opening half. But she's shooting in rhythm shots, taking her time and making the right decision. Just four on the shot clock here. A late foul called. Head coach Kevin McCuff there, a group that has so much experience, and Celeste Taylor, a grad student, celebrating senior day today. They've got a 13-point lead at home. Taylor thought about it, opted to pull up. You have to put Cheyenne Sellers back in, and she has to be so careful of driving to the basket, being aware that she's got these two fouls, and Ohio State's looking to exploit that and get her to draw her third. Alexander with the ball right now has been so much of the Maryland offense so far with her three triples. Sellers with six seconds. That's one of her spots that she likes. See who this went off of. It is going to stick with Maryland. They finally started to come together and get comfortable. And right out of the timeout there, it is going to be an and one opportunity for Maryland. They needed that successful ATO. I love a lot of good ATO. UConn, South Carolina. Right now, their Syracuse win looks really, really good on that tournament resume. Syracuse, a group that's 22 and 5 on the season. They prepare themselves for this time of the year. On the road today in a tough atmosphere. Another great crowd here in Columbus. Watching the number two team in the country up 11 right now. Maryland's Jakia Brown Turner just picked up her second foul, and Brenda Freeze looked at her and said, You have to. You have to be careful. So part of the reason why Maryland's in this zone is also because they don't have as many bodies, especially without Lavender Briggs, so they have to stay out of foul trouble as much as possible. And they almost have to leave Jakia Brown Turner in right now, as you mentioned, which they do. Here she is, needing to stay aware, playing with two fouls. Alexander, that's her spot. Came up short. Rebound, though, right into the hands of Masonis. Faith Masonis does a little bit of everything for Brenda Freeze, the X Factor, if you will, the glue player. That's cleaning up things, putting her teammates in the right positions to score, all of the little things that add up in a big way. Man with the step through. She gets fouled. Right now it is 5-1, Maryland in that category. Offensive boards, and it's earned them their last few points. Well, you see Faith Masona stepping up in a big way right there on the previous possession. But as a team, when you're struggling to score in the half court, creating second chance opportunities is huge, as is trying to get to the foul line. Maryland only has shot three free throws in this game so far, compared to Ohio State six. Maryland has three starters with two fouls. Nakia Brown Turner, one of them. Go down low again. Masonis couldn't finish. Kubek couldn't corral it. Sheldon with it. Three on two for the Buckeyes. Flips it over to McMahon. Wow, what a play. She stayed straight up there. Wow. Bree McDaniel, that was excellent timing. Now she's trailing the play. Once three. McDaniel, how about that sequence for her single digit game? That was a true three and D situation there for Bree McDaniel. Coming down, making the huge play in transition, staying perfectly up and down, then hitting the three. Oof. A little bit of a dagger. Gives you chills watching the player do that one end to the next. Mika Lashikova, nice movement down low, easy bucket for her. Rebecca's parents are here all the way from Slovakia for the senior day celebrations. 
They were chewed around today as well. Oh, nice pump fake. And one opportunity here for McDaniel. There are moments, Megan, we talked about it. The emotion of this team just swings in a pendulum. Has gone on a little bit of a run by herself here. She can do that, has throughout the course of this season. Pulls her team within seven. Both coaches up, two of the best in the business, Brenda Freeze and Devin McDuff. Colliding today for a second time this season. Ohio State won the first matchup. J.C. Sheldon rains down a three to answer right back. That's why J.C. Sheldon is the player she is, that competitive nature. Ohio State has that defensively and offensively. So here's Alexander and McDaniel, the duo that has combined for 21 points today. Bree McDaniel does not get enough love in the Big Ten for what she's been able to do, especially this year. Not only scoring, but also she went to Brenda Freeze and said, Coach, I know we have a point guard shortage. Let me step in and try to take on some point guard duties, especially when Cheyenne Sellers gets into some foul trouble in a game like this. Bree McDaniel has the ability to be comfortable with the ball in her hands. McMahon, so tough to stop down there. She's unguardable. If Cody McMahon gets the ball in the high post, they're back to the basket, it's an automatic two. You might as well stop guarding her. That's how quick she is getting to the rim. Last year's Big Ten Freshman of the Year has built on that and more in her sophomore campaign. Did they get a foul called away from the ball? I believe they did here. Reverse layup off the mark from Theory. Now Brown Turner with Harris back. Ran into traffic. Got a tie up call. Going to stay at this end. Halftime report. McDaniel nearly lost it. This is where Ohio State's so dangerous. It's been so tough to drive against them on that interior. Madison Green grew up 25 minutes away from here at the controls right now in the offense. They go down low to McMahon again. And this time it'll go out of bounds, but stick with Ohio State. And timing it out, so her feet are moving a little faster than the dribble, but still legal. Let's see, this time it's Kubek on her. Are you kidding me? Somehow got around her. Goes back out, Harris. So now shot clock off for Maryland. They can play for the final shot of the half. Talked about it before the game. Brenda Freeze team is just trend in February. They've won their last four. Up against it right now, but a chance to close the half on a high note. Stolen though. McMahon still three seconds. Plenty of time for her. And a foul to lead before she put up that shot. We said it before the game, there's no more dangerous player in transition than her in a situation like that. You almost have to foul her. Or just get out of the way. Yeah, you could do. That's probably Two the smarter options, choice. Yeah. <laughs> Second free throw drops. Time for a half court heave. 13 point lead for the number two team in the nation. Due to time constraints, we now move ahead in the action. He's back out there now. <laughs> Matchup between two teams that have experienced a lot of February and March success in recent years. Taylor picks up where she left off, 15 points today. What makes Ohio State so dangerous is the depth. Celeste Taylor having a big game from a scoring perspective. J.C. Sheldon's done that. Cody McMahon's done that this year. So many different players have stepped up, and Maryland needs to continue breaking the press quickly by getting the ball up the floor at a fast pace. That's what Maryland did well in the first meeting between these teams. Ohio State won that game, but it was close all the way to the very final whistle. J.C. Sheldon with her family here today. Ohio State having senior day, celebrating it. Still have one home game left. A really cool atmosphere here in Columbus. McMahon, nice mid-range jumper. Cody McMahon's game has matured so much from the standpoint of she's staying more patient and calm when she gets the ball down low on the block. Well, I haven't, if you haven't seen Ohio State this season, this press, as Taylor nearly got a steal there, is 
such a key fabric in what they do. Sheldon nearly got a steal there, and almost an extension of that press. And now she taps it away, but right into the hands of McDaniel. Came up short. Alexander will reload and knock down her 4-3 of the game. Nice job by Maryland, spreading the floor as well. Brene Alexander gets right to her spot. That's her shot. It is. She can kind of claim that spot on the floor today. That's it. 4-3 is all from that arc spot. Four straight wins for Maryland entering today. Her best stretch in Big Ten play. Trying to piece together a run of their own. Jakia Brown Turner has been on an excellent individual run. She's constantly hunting. Jakia Brown Turner and Renee Alexander have been such key parts of this four game winning streak for Maryland. Brenda Freeze told us earlier today, Jakia Brown Turner has kind of made it her team lately. Now no Lavender Briggs, unfortunately, for the rest of the season. Hoping her recovery goes well after the injury suffered. McMahon so improved as a three-point shooter, couldn't hit that. Now back comes Sellers, snap feet up ahead wow. to Brown Turner. That was a great pass by Sellers. Perfectly leading Brown Turner to the basket. She didn't even have to break stride on that. 7-0 Maryland run. They're right back in it, eight-point game. As a Buckeye, J.C. Sheldon with the ball right now. Mentioned one of her favorite moments beating UConn in the tournament last year as a part of that run to the Elite Eight. Hoping to replicate that more this year. McDaniel a steal. Nice read, pump fake, and free throws coming up. We have some players in this game to just read passes and lanes so well. And waiting and putting the opponent in a compromising situation. Almost like she knows your next move on that chessboard. It's a 9-0 run for Brenda Freeze's group, and they're within six, just a couple of possessions separating these two teams. Maryland's been able to force some turnovers the last couple of possessions. Mikula Shikova's first three of the game comes in a big time. Rebecca Mikula Shikova has practically scored a thousand points on threes alone. That's her bread and butter. She loves to pick a pop or just be ready on the three-point line. 39% on the season for her best mark in what's been an excellent career. Her parents here today all the way from Slovakia. Does Maryland have another answer. It's a steal for Ohio State. Their 10th of the game. Theory trying to capitalize on it and does. There wasn't much Cheyenne Sellers could have done in a little bit of foul trouble. Now how does Maryland react? They try to get up the floor in a hurry and draw a foul. And then Cody McMahon gets teed up. Officials didn't like that sprint after the foul. So it's a personal foul. And then it's a technical foul for unsportsmanlike behavior. Technical and personal, that she's at four. Pick up two fouls in one sequence. Potentially a juncture in the game to remember. Players, defenders, all of the above on the bench. So see how that changes things. Maryland trying to rally up the points on this possession. Celeste Taylor rips that away. And McDaniel gonna be called for the foul. Oh, she was good up the floor. A lot of emotion to great programs, great crowd today, great venue. A strip, loose ball. Sheldon was right there, though. Maryland came inches away from the steal. Harris, tough step back. This will go back to Maryland. too early. That's the goal. There's still a lot of things to be done. They can get a piece of that goal done today. The pump fix from McDaniel have been superb all day. Got her own offensive rebound. Still battling. Is she on the baseline? though? No, she is. So it's out of bounds. I 
Ohio State in search of what would at least be a share of their 16th regular season Big Ten title. J.C. Sheldon followed her own miss. You could see her getting her own oh, oh board right from the start of that shot going up, but it turned into two. Ohio State makes you pay if you do not box out. The Terps have to put a body on the Buckeyes. Got to box out the shooter, right? Always. Get a travel call this time on McDaniel. Three veterans exchanging the ball here for Ohio State. Theory, Green, and Taylor. One of which was the technical foul after picking up the personal. Extra pass to Harris. The confident stroke. Sellers the rebound. Up to Masonis. Nice stop and pop there for Jakia Brown Turner. Gonna go out of bounds and stick with the Terps. Maryland's doing a better job of trying to get the ball inside and get a paint touch each, each possession. When they can get a paint touch, the defense has to collapse and allows for more opportunities offensively. Starts March 7th through the 9th on the Big Ten Network and the Fox Sports app. It's going to be a fun time. These two teams will play a key role in it. Jakia Brown Turner blocked by Sheldon, nearly saved it from going out of bounds. Frees his team. Two fixtures around this time of year. Nice up and under move from Jakia Brown Turner. Back within single digits are the Terps. Maryland needs Jakia Brown Turner to get a touch every possession. She has that length and athleticism to get to the rim. They need her to get the ball. Foul called to the opposite end on the drive from Sheldon. Think of the names they're honored today before the game. Sheldon, at least a share of the regular season title in the Big Ten today for J.C. Sheldon and this crew. There's her sister, Emmy. Emmy! The star of the show. The star of the show. You got to introduce me to Emmy earlier today. You did. Was, you got to meet awesome Emmy. Moment. Emmy, everybody in the gym knows Emmy. She's the mayor of the shot. Her parents here as well as McDaniel gets a nice step back to go. Eight point differential between these sides. Two to go in the third. Maryland cannot get into a situation where they've been trading buckets with Ohio State. They need to stop and they got to stop fouling. Theory can check out. A luxury Ohio State has is they have depth in a bench. You know, Maryland right now is dealing with so many injuries, a limited bench. It puts you in some compromising situations at times when you don't have the bodies. But Ohio State is playing some of their best basketball right now, and players are able to stay a little fresher because they have so many different options off the bench. You called that Michigan State game in East Lansing when like, like everyone was in foul trouble. Still come out on top as the bucket goes there for Brown Turner. Again, staying within striking distance, but you said you, you need stops on this end, and you can't foul. Taylor loves to drive on that side. That was like a ballerina finish. She just did a full 360. A balletic move from Taylor. Now a steal at this end. Here comes Ebony Walker with Green and Sheldon. Oh, out of the reach and going to go back to Maryland. Spin move from McDaniel, although she stripped. Celeste Taylor on the move. Sheldon for three. Walker the rebound, tied up. Gonna go the other way. Back to Maryland. A three can make it a six point game if they were able to knock one down. But the Forte has been in the lane and mid-range shots over the course of this four-game winning streak. They go back to that bread and butter and get two. Great move. Cheyenne Sellers plays point guard, she plays post, she plays literally anything on the floor that Brenda Freeze needs her to play. And it's a Maryland team that doesn't have any bad losses, no quad three or four losses. 
and most of their losses have come on the road as they build their NCAA tournament resume. They're in single digits at the second best team in the country's home floor. This is an NCAA tournament team. Tight game here in Columbus. Chance to make it even tighter for Maryland. Time here to work with Jakia Brown-Turner caught up to that somehow and was able to make it a five-point game going into the fourth quarter. Being aggressive and simple also means being balanced and disciplined. Ohio State's gotten a little out of whack, some of the fouls, some of the turnovers. They have to go back to the fundamentals, like Coach McGuff says, and just focus on taking the best shot possible. 13-game winning streak in Big Ten play. Both teams trying to lock in now. Theory watched by Jakia Brown-Turner. Opts to go back out. Now you see Maryland in their man-to-man -man defense. They switch one through five. Brenda Fries told us we might see some of that today. Taylor Theory's able to beat it off the glass. All she had to do was get to the B1G logo, then use her size and athleticism to go up and for the finish. Eight for Theory. Six Buckeyes have scored. McMahon remains on the bench with four fouls. Remember that point in the game. Picked up the personal and the technical, so she remains out to begin this fourth. Maryland couldn't finish on their first look of the fourth. It was a run to make it a five-point game going into the fourth that the Terps closed out the third off. Sheldon follows her own miss all the way to the baseline. Megan, you said it. You got to box out the shooter. Mikolashikova spins and connects. That was fancy from Rebecca Mikolashikova. What a flair with her parents in the stands. Buckeyes are back up nine. Collision on the screen. Maryland with 30 wins over AP top 10 teams under Brenda Freeze. 94 over top 25 teams since 2002 when she took over. This crowd getting back into it. Sellers trying to quiet them. Couldn't. Sellers has that height advantage on Ricky Harris, so Bree McDaniel and Sellers were trying to get into a high-low situation, but no dice on the finish from Sellers. It's a tall Maryland group. Taylor draws a foul. This should be free throws coming up here. Taylor at the line and knocks down the free throw to make it a 10-point game. Last season, Megan, I don't want to say people lost faith in an Ohio State group that had a slew of injuries. And then re-peaked again. So they had a little mountain range going, if you will. That doesn't really happen in basketball. You want to just have that one mountain range that you started in February, headed into March. And right now, Maryland needs more of that from Faith and Mazonis. This was a five-point game. Then Ohio State was able to get some second-chance opportunities to get this to double digits. That is the first Maryland bucket of the quarter, as you noted. Sheldon navigating into the paint, went down. Sellers knows it, looking for numbers the other way. Alexander, that's her spot. Fifth three of the game for Alexander, and it's back to a six-point game. Transition three, some of the hardest plays to guard in basketball because the defense is in a scramble situation. For now, Alexander makes everybody pay. And she's ready to knock him down half the time. But being a shooter, you just got to be ready at all times. Mikulashikova into the lane and draws the foul. Heard Autumn say. Rarely has Ohio State been able to consistently get out and run the way they want to. This is a Buckeyes team that averages nearly 81 points a game. Two for two for the 88% free throw shooter, Mikulashikova. Kubek curls across the lane. Nice rebound from Celeste Taylor. 
Buckeyes number two in the country for a second straight week. Cody McMahon getting set to check back in with the four fouls. Theory, oh, what a drive there from Taylor Theory. Maryland switches defensively in that man-to-man. -man. Taylor Theory goes all the way to the basket. And when you win in different ways, it helps you so much when you get to the NCAA tournament because you're going to see different styles than you've seen all year long. So if you can find different ways to win in a variety, it's going to be huge. Get a travel ball here. If the one seed projection remains the same, they certainly find themselves hosting first and second round here in Columbus of the NCAA tournament. Love moving the ball around you. They just genuinely enjoy seeing their teammates score. It's touched all five hands on this possession. Couldn't turn into two. McDaniel digging her way in, and McMahon had to be very careful there. The McMahon didn't have a choice, and Bree McDaniel knew that, so she went right down and kind of made it easy on herself. Eight point game. Maryland pulled as close as within five, entering this quarter. McMahon had time to set her feet and drain the throw. Playing in front of these home fans, 13 and one on this court this year. Blocked by Mika Lashikova. <laughs> JC Sheldon, their consummate leader, strikes again. Because Sheldon can get to the basket with such ease, as a defender, you have to give her a step. But you give her a step, and that's enough time and space for her to get her shot off. You really have to pick your poison when defending Sheldon. JC spoke recently about how Ohio State had eight days off going into their last one against Penn State. It really helped this group reset. They were antsy to get back out on the floor, though, in the last couple of games. McDaniel able to keep Maryland in this 350 to go, but Terps need some stops, and they need a map. They need to also keep Ohio State to one and done. They cannot allow any more second chance opportunities, which is how Ohio State was able to make this lead even, even bigger. We've seen J.C. Sheldon follow a number of own rebounds today. Mika Lashikova stuck the cook in the paint. Perhaps the last gasp here over the next couple of possessions for Maryland if they can string together some buckets. Ohio State on the other side, 315 away from a share of the Big Ten regular season title. Masonis the rebound, goes up strong, and a foul called. Not the last of our women's games today. Women's Heats on the Big Ten Network continues. Purdue and Wisconsin clash. That's next up on BTN. and Jimmy Gray Miller, our good friend, ahead of where the current class would tell you she's such a good shot blocker. <laughs> Taylor Theory and the Buckeyes looking to make it a season sweep over Maryland. Sheldon smiling while she crosses over the hands to McMahon for two. That was an insane pass. I don't even know how she got that through. They have fun while they play. It's a fun group to watch pass the ball. And anyone can finish with style. McMahon skying for the rebound.
Four on the shot clock here, Taylor. Sheldon came over trying for the steal. Inadvertent collision there with Sellers. Two good friends. Piecing together what's been a season-long, career-long highlight reel. Will be remembered for a long time by these Buckeye fans. Nika Lasikova got a piece of that. 100 seconds to go. Megan, as you said it, it's a jobs not finished mentality with a share of the regular season title. But it's a piece of that goal. Still plenty of goals that they want to check off the list in this very special season that's on the brink of 14 straight wins in conference play. But credit Ohio State for how they've handled this Big Ten season. Only one loss so far in Big Ten play. I know you're super pumped for the Big Ten tournament. I'm excited to watch you there. But, I mean, that just makes it even more exciting knowing anyone can win a deep league this year. And Ohio State's at the top of it right now. And depth in this league this is a really good Maryland team. And if there's one thing we've learned over the course of time, when Brenda Freeze is in charge, big things can happen. And this is a five-point game in the fourth quarter. This is a competitive Maryland team dealing with some injuries, but I'm really impressed with how they came out today. You said it earlier, no quad three or four losses for Maryland. You mentioned that win over Syracuse, and looks better and better by the day as they're 22 and five now on the season. And they are truly one of the best four teams nationally. Number two in the country, matching the highest ranking in program history that they had after that 19-0 start last year. You know, the Buckeyes still have a showdown with Iowa on the horizon on March 3rd. They'll have Michigan next. Maryland will play Wisconsin on Thursday. We'll have that for you on Big Ten Network. But for now, the Buckeyes can celebrate a share of the Big Ten regular season title, and they'll lock up the number one seed in the Big Ten tournament with this win on the home floor today. Their 14th home win of the year, their 15th Big Ten win of the year. A magical season rolls on in Columbus.